Welcome to Ultrasound Review 1. There are 50 questions and answers in this video. Please smash that like button. Comment. Share, and subscribe. The covering of the liver is referred to as A. Glisten Capsule B. Gerota Fascia C. Morrison Pouch D. Hepatic Fascia The answer is A. Glisten Capsule The left lobe of the liver can be separated from the right lobe by A. Right hepatic vein B. Middle hepatic vein C. Left hepatic vein D. Falciform ligament The answer is B. Middle hepatic vein The right lobe of the liver is divided into segments by the A. Middle lobar fissure B. Middle hepatic vein C. Right hepatic vein D. Left hepatic vein. The answer is C. Right hepatic vein. The right intersegmental fissure contains the A. Right hepatic vein. B. Middle hepatic vein. C. Left portal vein. D. Right portal vein. The answer is A. Right hepatic vein. The main portal vein divides into A. Middle left and right branches b left and right branches c anterior and posterior branches d medial and lateral branches the answer is b left and right branches the ligamentum teres can be used to separate the a medial and lateral segments of the left lobe b medial and posterior segments of the right lobe c anterior and medial segments of the left lobe D. Anterior and posterior segments of the right lobe. The answer is A. Medial and lateral segments of the left lobe. The main lower fissure contains the A. Right hepatic vein. B. Middle hepatic vein. C. Main portal vein. D. Right portal vein. The answer is B. Middle hepatic vein. All of the following are located within the porta hepatis except A. Main portal vein B. Common bile duct C. Hepatic artery D. Middle hepatic vein The answer is D. Middle hepatic vein Right-sided heart failure often leads to enlargement of the A. Abdominal aorta B. Inferior vena cava and hepatic veins C. Inferior vena cava and portal veins. D. Portal veins and spleen. The answer is B. Inferior vena cava and hepatic veins. The right portal vein divides into A. Middle, left, and right branches. B. Left and right branches. C. Anterior and posterior branches. D. Medial and lateral branches. The answer is C. Anterior and posterior branches. The diameter of the portal vein should not exceed a 4 mm, B8 mm, circa 10 mm, D13 mm. The answer is D13 mm. The right lobe of the liver can be divided into A. Medial and lateral segments, B. Medial and posterior segments, C. Anterior and medial segments, D. Anterior and posterior segments. The answer is, D, anterior and posterior segments. Which of the following is true concerning the portal veins? A, portal veins carry deoxygenated blood away from the liver. B, portal veins have brighter walls than the hepatic veins. C, portal veins should demonstrate hepatofugal flow. D, portal veins increase in diameter as they approach the diaphragm. The answer is, B. Portal veins have brighter walls than the hepatic veins. The left lobe of the liver can be divided into A. Medial and lateral segments B. Medial and posterior segments C. Anterior and medial segments D. Anterior and posterior segments The answer is A. Medial and lateral segments Budd-Chiari syndrome leads to a reduction in the size of the A. Hepatic arteries. B. Portal veins. C. Hepatic veins. D. 
common bile duct? The answer is, C. Hepatic veins. A tongue-like extension of the right lobe of the liver is termed, A. Papillary lobe. B. Focal hepatomegaly. C. Rita lobe. D. Morrison lobe. The answer is, C. Rita lobe. The left portal vein divides into, A. Middle, left, and right branches. B. Left and right branches. C. Anterior and posterior branches. D. Medial and lateral branches. The answer is, D. Medial and lateral branches. The left umbilical vein after birth becomes the A. Falciform ligament. B. Main lower fissure. D. Ligamentum teres. E. Ligamentum venosum. The answer is D. Medial and lateral branches. The inferior extension of the caudate lobe is referred to as A. Papillary process. B. Focal hepatomegaly. C. Renal process. D. Morrison lobe. The answer is, A. Papillary process. Clinical findings of fatty infiltration of the liver include, A. Elevated liver function tests. B. Fever. C. Fatigue. D. Weight loss. The answer is, A. Elevated liver function tests. Shortly after birth, the ductus venosus collapses and becomes the A. Falciform ligament. B. Main lower fissure. C. Ligamentum teres. D. Ligamentum venosum. The answer is D. Ligamentum venosum. Sonographically, when the liver is difficult to penetrate and diffusely echogenic, this is indicative of A. Portal vein thrombosis. B. Metastatic liver disease. C. Primary liver carcinoma. D. Fatty liver disease. The answer is, D. Fatty liver disease. The most common cause of cirrhosis is, A. Portal hypertension. B. Hepatitis. C. Alcoholism. D. Cholangitis. The answer is, C. Alcoholism. Clinical findings of hepatitis include all of the following except A. Jaundice. B. Fever. C. Chills. D. Paracolicystic fluid. The answer is D. Paracolicystic fluid. Immunocompromised patients are more prone to develop what form of hepatic abnormality? A. Hepatic adenoma. B. Amoebic abscess. C. Hydated liver abscess. D. Candidiasis. The answer is, D. Candidiasis. All of the following are sequelae of cirrhosis except, A. Portal vein thrombosis. B. Hepatic artery enlargement. C. Portal hypertension. D. Splenomegaly. The answer is, B. Hepatic artery enlargement. Normal flow toward the liver in the portal veins is termed A. Hepatopetal. B. Hepatofugal. The answer is A. Hepatopetal. Which of the following is the most common form of liver cancer? A. Hepatocellular carcinoma. B. Adenocarcinoma. C. Metastatic liver disease. D. Hepatoblastoma. The answer is C. Metastatic liver disease. Which hepatic mass is closely associated with oral contraceptive use? A. Hepatic adenoma. B. Hepatic hypernephroma. C. Hepatic hamartoma. D. Hepatic hemangioma. The answer is A. Hepatic adenoma. A 71 year old patient presents to the emergency department with painless jaundice and an enlarged, palpable gallbladder. These findings are highly suspicious for. A. Acute cholecystitis. B. Chronic cholecystitis. C. Courvoisier gallbladder. D. Porcelain gallbladder. The answer is, C. Courvoisier gallbladder. 
The innermost layer of the gallbladder wall is the A. Fibromuscular layer. B. Mucosa layer. C. Sericel layer. D. Muscularis layer. The answer is B. Mucosal layer. The cystic artery is branch of the A. Main pancreatic artery. B. Celiac artery. C. Right hepatic artery. D. Left hepatic artery. The answer is C. Right hepatic artery. The middle layer of the gallbladder wall is the A. Fibromuscular layer. B. Mucosa layer. C. Sericel layer. D. Muscularis layer. The answer is A. Fibromuscular layer. Which structure is a useful landmark for identifying the gallbladder? A. Main lower fissure. B. Hepatoduodenal ligament. C. Falciform ligament. D. Ligamentum venosum. The answer is A. Main lower fissure. What hormone causes the gallbladder to contract? A. Estrogen. B. Cholecystokinin. C. Bilirubin. D. Bilivertin. The answer is B. Cholecystokinin. The gallbladder wall should measure no more than A. 5 mm. B. 6 mm. C. 4 mm. D. 3 mm. The answer is D. 3 mm. The direct blood supply to the gallbladder is the A. Cholecystic artery. B. Common hepatic artery. C. Main portal vein. D. Cystic artery. The answer is D. Cystic artery. The outermost layer of the gallbladder wall is the A. Fibromuscular layer. B. Mucosa layer. C. Sericel layer. D. Muscularis layer. The answer is C. Sericel layer. Hartman pouch involves which part of the gallbladder? A. Neck. B. Fundus. C. Body. D. Phrygian cap. The answer is A. Neck. The gallbladder is connected to the biliary tree by the A. Common hepatic duct. B. Common bile duct. C. Cystic duct. D. Right hepatic duct. The answer is C. Cystic duct. The junctional fold is found at which level of the gallbladder? A. Neck. B. Fundus. C. Body. D. Phrygian cap. The answer is A. Neck. What is archolithiasis? A. Inflammation of the gallbladder. B. Gallstones. C. Hyperplasia of the gallbladder wall. D. Stones within the biliary tree. The answer is B. Gallstones. The most common variant of gallbladder shape is the A. Phrygian cap. B. Hartman pouch. C. Septated gallbladder. D. Junctional fold. The answer is A. Phrygian cap. The diameter of the gallbladder should not exceed A. 8 cm. B. 5 cm. C. 7 mm. D. 3 cm. The answer is B. 5 cm. Acute cholecystitis that leads to necrosis and abscess development within the gallbladder wall describes A. Emphysematous cholecystitis. B. Gangrenous cholecystitis. C. Chronic cholecystitis. D. Gallbladder perforation. An answer is B. Gangrenous cholecystitis. All of the following are sources of diffuse gallbladder wall thickening except A. Malignant ascites. B. AIDS. C. Hepatitis. D. Adenomyomatosis. The answer is C. Hepatitis. Which statement is not true of cholelithiasis? A. 
men have an increased likelihood of developing cholelithiasis. b. Patients who have been or are pregnant have an increased occurrence of cholelithiasis. c. A rapid weight loss may increase the likelihood of developing cholelithiasis. d. Patients who have hemolytic disorders have an increased occurrence of cholelithiasis. The answer is, a. Men have an increased likelihood of developing cholelithiasis. West sign denotes, a. The presence of a gallstone lodged in the cystic duct. b. Multiple biliary stones and biliary dilatation. c. A gallbladder filled with cholelithiasis. d. The sonographic sign of a porcelain gallbladder. The answer is, c. A gallbladder filled with cholelithiasis. Dot. All of the following are sources of diffuse gallbladder wall thickening except, a. Beninocytes. b. Hepatitis. c. Congestive heart failure. D. Gallbladder polyp. The answer is D. Gallbladder polyp. Tumefactive sludge can resemble the sonographic appearance of A. Cholelithiasis. B. Gallbladder carcinoma. C. Cholecystitis. D. Adenomyomatosis. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment.